The Greatest of Jagresses is a very interesting addition to Monster Hunter World. He combines the moveset of both Great Jagras and Arctempikov to Wrath along with a much larger body and much bigger hitboxes. Oh, and he pukes Dekos out as well. But the question remains, is Arctempid Chungus a good way to farm Dekos? Well, I'm Jinjinx, one of the Monster Hunter math guys, and this is Jinx's musings, Chungus Puke Farming. So, before we get into a whole bunch of math and numbers, let's take a look at the actual mechanics. So, Arctempid Jagras will have to first eat a monster before he can become Arctempid Chungus. We have tried using raw meats as a way to feed him, but unfortunately this does not make him go Chungus. This means in order for him to go Chungus for you to get your Dekos from him, you have to wait until after he goes and eats an Aptonaut in Area 1. This takes almost exactly one minute. After that, he will try to f*** off if you do not hit him. For some reason, hitting him during the animation where he goes full Chungus is not going to count and draw aggro. So you do have to poke him afterwards. Now that he is full Chungus and fighting you, you have two ways to get those juicy deco drops. The first is he has to shoot his puke attack at you, this is the best way to get them. However, it is completely RNG dependent how many times he uses this. Each time he does, he'll drop anywhere from 4 to 6 decos. The other way is to simply damage his belly. If you didn't already know, when you damage his belly enough, he will trip over. This belly trip actually happens to be the longest CC in the game, taking over 20 seconds to finish. However, this belly trip then takes him out of full Chungus. Which means after this belly trip, you're out of luck getting more decos unless you want to wait around until he goes and eats again and do it again. It also seems like the limit of the decos you can get from belly damage is around 10. However, the cap for you to get decos from him during hunt is 30. That's right, 30 whole decos. For this reason, it's generally better to just let him run around puking a bunch. Since these pukes will drop around 5 decos on average, it only takes him 6 pukes in order to max out the amount of drops he can give you. This has enabled a very interesting way of farming decos, the Chungus Puke Farming Method. Basically, you just wait until he comes into Area 1, eats an Aptonoth, and then engage him, throw on Tempura Mantle, and then go around picking up decos while he tries to hit you. Ideally, you want a set with Tremor Resistance 3 because otherwise he'll be tremoring you a lot with his attacks. And any time spent tremored is time you cannot spend picking up those juicy puke decos. <laughs> if you use Tempura Mantle right after engaging him, it lasts almost exactly long enough for him to leave for the next area before it runs out. Then you simply return from quest and you get to appraise all of your decos. Yes, you still get to keep all of your drops if you leave the quest or if you card out of it. But now for the more important question, is Chungus puke farming actually worth it? The answer, surprisingly, is actually yes. So I went ahead and made a spreadsheet calculating all of the data together and as you can clearly see, it's a very good way to farm decos. Alright, that about does it guys. Bye! So, let's take a look at these numbers. Thanks to some beautiful data mining from our beloved HexHexHex, Hex Hex, linked to his Twitter and Nexus Mods account in the description, we do know the exact drop rates of the puke decos. So for Mysterious Face Stones, aka the Trash Face Stones, it is going to be 54%. Glowing, the sometimes very rarely not trash decos are 38%. For Worn, aka the Jebated Face Stones are 6%. And for warped face stones, the oh god, please give me the tag deco, please, 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 those are 2%. Now, this is the chance of getting an R7 or an R8 deco from each of the different face stones. Basically, a puke has a 1.1% to give you an R7 and a 0.22% to give you an R8. Now, that doesn't look too good, but let's compare it to Tempered Investigations, what is otherwise the best way to farm decos. First, let's look at Tier 2 Investigations. These are anything HR30 or higher for Tempered Investigations. These have a 7.12% per box to give you an R7 and a 2.0% chance for any R8s. Next, let's look at Tier 3s, which are basically any Tempered Elder Dragons, something that is HR50 or higher for an investigation. These have a 6.54% of getting an R7 and a 2.05% chance of getting an R8. Now, these do look a lot better than Chungus farming, but keep in mind this is per box. 
You only get 3 to 5 boxes and 5 boxes are extremely rare so 3 to 4 are really the ones you'll be regularly farming. So let's take a look at some more useful numbers, aka how many runs does it take to get an R7 or R8 deco on average. Let's take a look at a Chungus Puke farming first because it'll be our comparison point. So because of the way Monster AI works, it's very hard to actually calculate how many decos he'll puke, so let's just go with the maximum, which is 30. This means on average you'll be getting 0.33 of an R7 every run, as well as 0.066 of an R8. This means it's going to take you 3.03 runs on average to get an R7, as well as 15.15 on average to get an R8. These Chungus Puke farming runs do take almost exactly 3 minutes to do. This means that you get 6.67 R7s and 1.32 R8s per hour. This is of course without accounting for loading times because some people have an SSD, some people play on console, some play on PC, it, it's too much to account for. Now let's compare this to T2s first because these are the general way people farm decos. So on a 3 box investigation you on average get 0.21 R7s and 0.06 R8s. This means the average number of hunts to get one of them is 4.68 for R7s and 16.67 for R8s. This means in order for T2 3 boxes to equate the Chungus Puke farming method, for R7s your hunts have to take 1.94 minutes, and for R8s they have to take 2.73 minutes. Even though the Chungus Puke farming method does have about an 8th to a 10th the chance of dropping a rare deco compared to a box, you get 10 times as many. Now let's compare this to a 4 box instead. For R7s you need 2.59 minute long hunts to get an R8 at the same rate, and 3.64 minutes to get an R8 at the same rate. Now let's look at T3s next. For a 3 box for an R7, you need to complete your hunts in 1.78 minutes. For R8s in 2.8 minutes. For a 4 box, the R7s are 2.38 minutes, and R8s are 3.73 minutes. Now the only way to really consistently clear your investigations this fast is with clusters, and clusters will most likely still be a faster way to farm decos. But that does take resources, this Chungus Puke farming gives us an alternative way to farm decos while watching anime. But now the greatest of Chungus does also drop decos when you kill him, so the question is, is it worth killing him? And the answer is... I don't know. I haven't actually crunched those numbers yet, and we want to get this information out as soon as possible to you guys. But I will be looking over all the data and letting you guys know about that very soon. But yes, for all of those who do not believe in RNGs as much like myself, this new quest is an excellent way for you to farm up a lot of decos. Anyway, that about does it guys, Tuna and I will be doing a lot of content covering the Gala Festival, the Greatest of Chunguses, and of course, Arc Tempered Call to Wrath. Be sure to check out our Twitter, we tweet out about new videos as well as just things that interest us. And Chungus Puke Farming is more fun with friends, so be sure to check out our Discord server, The Mathalos Nest. And Tuna does stream on Twitch while I stream on YouTube, be sure to check those both out if you'd like to see us playing live. And a huge thank you to everyone on Patreon who supports us and helps keep this channel alive. Without you guys, Tuna and I could not put out the content we do. Every donation helps me put more and more time into the channel, which means that we can put out even more Monster Hunter math for you guys. So seriously, thank you guys so much. Anyway, don't forget to like the video if it helped you get some more decorations, and leave your favorite Arc Tempered Chungus strategy in the comments. And of course subscribe as well as hit the notification bell if you'd like to see our videos as soon as they go live as well as be notified anytime I stream. Anyway, happy hunting hunters, thanks for watching again and may your chunguses be the chungiest and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!